In this video, I'll show you how to publish for upload to a web page. I got a comment from Marco, who was watching my video on publishing for a learning management system, or LMS for short, and Marco wrote, would be great to see how to publish to a web page. Well, Marco, I think I can definitely help you out there. In fact, I happen to be working on a, on a course for a client of mine that's just about ready to publish um, to one of my web pages for them to preview as a prototype. Um, now, I've been testing it uh, with a learning management system to make sure that the scoring works and it keeps track of uh, employees who have completed the training and so on. So there's uh, one thing that you need to do before you publish it for a web page. Uh, you need to turn off the e-learning functionality because, of course, most e-learning courses uh, in Adobe Captivate are expecting to connect with some server, whether it's a learning management software or uh, unique servers that you've got set up to keep track of employee results or uh, student results. So we're going to need to turn that off because otherwise it's going to be searching for the, that software and just simply not find it. So you're going to go into the Edit drop-down menu and go down to Preferences. Alternatively, you can press Shift F8, and that's going to bring you into the Preferences window. Specifically, we're looking for Quiz and Reporting as far as a category and subcategory is concerned. From there, you're going to see possibly your SCORM 1.2 or your SCORM 2004 AICC or uh, XAPI, which is also known as Tin Can. Uh, these are the formats that uh, you know e-learning courses are typically published in. You may be publishing it for an internal server, and that's going to require some uh, unique customization or configuration on your part. Not an expert on that, to be completely frank, uh, but generally, you know, you're going to want to turn off the capability to communicate with these four different standards. Uh, so all you need to do is uncheck Enable Reporting for this project, and that's generally it. There might be some other settings you want, might want to double check, but for the most part, that's it. So now we're ready to publish so that this course can be viewed on a standard web page. So I'm going to click the Publish drop-down icon from the toolbar and select Publish to Computer. Now, if this was a responsive design project, which is very likely if you're designing for mobile, the uh, Publish to Computer screen will look a little bit different, but I'm in this case publishing a standard project, which you can still do for HTML5. So I've got HTML5 selected from the Publish As drop-down menu. The course title is, is here, the project title. Where I'm going to publish it to is simply my desktop. And um, that's pretty much it. There's the opportunity to zip up the files into a single package file, but I won't need to do that in this case. One option that is available to you, and I've used this quite a bit, is to create a scalable HTML uh, course or content. And the advantage of doing this is that while this course is not designed for responsive design, this course will scale up or down depending on the screen size and the, uh, to a lesser degree, the aspect ratio of the screen or the device that this course is being viewed on. So I recommend checking that off. But keep in mind that when you design courses with this intention, you're going to want to use uh, the higher quality graphics whenever possible, because if it scales up, it might show off the fact that you've got relatively small graphic files and you'll get those jagged lines around the outsides of things. The More button here just reveals the additional options that you could turn on and off at this time. In fact, you could access that very same preferences location by clicking on the e-learning output, which I, as you can see here, is already disabled. I've also turned off mobile gestures for this course. I don't want people to swipe to, to use this course. And there's, there doesn't happen to be any location uh, aware uh, aspect to this course as well. So geolocation is also turned off. 
So we're pretty much ready to go. All I need to do is hit publish and it will begin the process of building my, my course using HTML5. And this will create a folder structure right on your desktop and start to deposit all the files that your course needs to, uh, to play properly within a web browser. Sometimes when your course links to files or, or other uh, web addresses or PDF files, for example, uh, you may see this message on the screen. Uh, since uh, one of the, the uh, interim versions of Adobe Captivate version 9, I've no longer had to actually copy these files over. Uh, but it's a, a carryover from in the past when you had to manually add your job aids and your supporting documentation like maybe policies and things like that uh, into your course manually. Um, but that's just a reminder to do that. Once you click on OK, you'll have the opportunity to preview this output. And we'll just click on Yes here and see that result. So here's the course published. Let me just enlarge the screen. Here's the scaling that I'm referring to. Uh, as the screen size changes, the course will scale up or down depending on the needs there. So I can navigate through this course and uh, you know use my custom menu system here so that works well and everything is working fine guys if you like the videos that i produce for you i encourage you to subscribe to my channel and if you thought this video was helpful or useful go ahead and give me a thumbs up